The real story of Medusa, as depicted in Greek mythology, is a complex and multifaceted tale that delves into themes of beauty, betrayal, and transformation. Rooted in ancient Greek culture, Medusa's story has captivated audiences for centuries, inspiring countless interpretations and adaptations in art, literature, and popular culture. To truly understand the real story of Medusa, we must explore the intricacies of her myth and the cultural context in which it emerged. Medusa was originally a beautiful maiden, renowned for her stunning looks and flowing locks of golden hair. Born to Perseus and Ceto, ancient sea deities, she was one of the Gorgons, monstrous creatures with serpent hair and a gaze that could turn mortals to stone. Contrary to popular belief, Medusa was not always a monster. Instead, her transformation into a Gorgon was a punishment inflicted upon her by the goddess Athena. The story of Medusa's transformation begins with a betrayal of trust and a clash of divine powers. According to some versions of the myth, Poseidon, the god of the sea, lusted after Medusa and violated her in Athena's temple. Others suggest that Medusa's beauty simply attracted Poseidon's attention, leading to a consensual affair within the sacred confines of Athena's sanctuary. Regardless of the circumstances, Athena felt betrayed by both Medusa and Poseidon. Enraged by the desecration of her temple and the perceived disrespect shown by Medusa, Athena unleashed her wrath upon the young maiden. With a wave of her hand, she transformed Medusa's enchanting locks into a writhing mass of venomous snakes, cursed her with a hideous visage that would petrify any who gazed upon it, and banished her to a desolate island. Cast out from society and cursed to live as a monster, Medusa retreated to a remote cave, far from the prying eyes of mortals. There, she mourned her lost beauty and grappled with the weight of her curse. Despite her monstrous form, Medusa retained memories of her past life as a beautiful maiden, haunted by visions of her former self and the betrayal that had led to her downfall. In her solitude, Medusa became a feared and elusive figure, a symbol of terror and fascination for those who dared to venture near her lair. Tales of her monstrous form spread far and wide, serving as a warning to those who would dare to cross the gods or challenge the natural order of the world. However, fate had other plans for Medusa, as her story intersected with that of a hero destined for greatness. Perseus, the son of Zeus and Danae, embarked on a perilous quest to slay the Gorgon and claim her head as a prize. Guided by divine intervention and armed with a sword forged by Hephaestus, Perseus set out to confront the fearsome creature. With the aid of Hermes, the messenger of the gods, Perseus journeyed to the edge of the world, where the sun sets and darkness reigns. There, he encountered the Grey Eye, three ancient crones who shared a single eye and tooth between them. Through cunning and deception, Perseus tricked the Grey Eye into revealing the location of the Gorgon's lair and the means to defeat them. Armed with this knowledge, Perseus ventured into the heart of Medusa's domain, his heart pounding with anticipation and dread. As he drew closer to her cave, he could hear the faint hiss of serpents and the echo of his own footsteps against the rocky terrain. With each step, he steeled himself for the confrontation that lay ahead, knowing that his success would depend on his ability to outwit the monstrous Gorgon. Using Athena's polished shield as a mirror, Perseus approached Medusa's sleeping form with caution, his eyes averted to avoid her deadly gaze. With a swift and decisive motion, he raised his sword and struck, severing Medusa's head from her body in a single stroke. In that moment, the curse that had plagued her for so long was broken, and Medusa's lifeless form crumbled to dust, her serpent hair writhing and hissing in the air. From the blood that spilled forth from her severed neck, two creatures were born, Pegasus, the majestic winged horse, and Chrysor, a fearsome warrior clad in golden armor. These offspring would go on to play significant roles in the myths and legends of ancient Greece, each carrying a legacy intertwined with their mother's tragic fate. With Medusa's head in his possession, Perseus embarked on the long journey home, his heart heavy with the weight of his triumph and the knowledge of the horrors he had witnessed. Along the way, he encountered numerous trials and obstacles, 
including the wrath of the sea god Poseidon and the vengeful pursuit of Medusa's sisters, Steno and Euryale. Upon his return to civilization, Perseus presented Medusa's head as a gift to Athena, the goddess whose temple had been desecrated by the tragic events that had unfolded. In gratitude for his bravery and cunning, Athena accepted the offering and placed Medusa's head upon her shield, the Aegis, where it would serve as a potent symbol of protection and divine power. The story of Medusa's downfall and Perseus's triumph inspiring countless works of art, literature, and theater. Through her tale, we are reminded of the timeless themes of hubris, betrayal, and redemption, as well as the enduring power of myth to explore the depths of the human experience. Though she may have been cursed in life, Medusa's story continues to resonate with audiences around the world, a testament to the enduring legacy of one of Greek mythology's most enigmatic figures.